salt bottom. And yeah. Oh, and Sterling has been leveling up a lot. Like, when when Sterling joined us in the FTG group, he was like, you know, he played Street Fighter, didn't play much else. He got bopped a lot. But uh, fast forward one, two, three years, and this guy's giving me trouble in my game, <laughs> which is great. I like to see that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, same with LB when he started properly playing this game semi decently. So, yeah, this should be, this should be the good stuff. So, Sterling will be running a team of the twins. He'll be running Fukua and Filia. I'm not sure what assists he'll be running, though. Um, he'll either be running the uh, the Fireballs and Fukua, or maybe he'll run a clone, the overhead clone, on uh, Fukua for a pseudo unblockable. I'll be on the other end, we'll be running solo Filia. So, he'll just want to, you know, get in, play fast, play simple. Big damage, mega stonks, but uh, yeah, and here we go. We are waiting like seconds here. <laughs> Hopefully the, the, the uh, connections between these two guys are good. So, Albi is playing Philia in the Steven Universe colors. And Sterling is playing the two clones in the green or teal, whatever color that is. But this neutral is kind of, you know, like folks for folks. So each other, what the hell? Nice, can convert. So Sterling opted to go for the fireball. Um, this is... I'll just have locked out the neutral. Oh, Albi gets mixed. That's your turn. Full combo! And now Fukuo on point. That's where grab and wake up. Nice anti air from LB. He's just pressing to try and get out. Yeah! Yeah, Sterling roughing the Hatsune Miku with the Hatsune Miku Shadows color, but damn, that was quick! I'll be dying fast! What the fuck? Yeah. First game goes to Sterling. I remember the last time these two guys played it was... It was a lot closer than this. Um, but, you know, LB might just need to adapt. LB has shown previously that he is capable of adapting. The color change here from Sterling, he's got them both in white. And LB in the pink. So what LB likes to do when he plays for is he likes to abuse that um, instant air dash heavy punch. It's like it's like 14 frames, barely rackable overhead, huge damage starter for Philia, and extremely plus and block as well. But uh, Sterling also plays this, so he knows what that button is capable of, but I'll be managed to see it both, unable to confirm. Nice, nice, LB don't drop! LB is laughing right now! I can hear that LB laugh! But, LB got hit by Fukura. This is gonna hurt. He's super. Pick up on the ground. Oh, it's just roll level 3, he's dead! He's dead, damn! And that's two for study. Very quick.
I think uh, LB's adjusting a little bit. He's trying to see, um, you know, like where are the openings where he can press, where he can do stuff when he's playing against Sterling. But Sterling doesn't make it like, definitely doesn't make it free. Look at that, like whiff, whiff sweep into hairball instantly. I'll be trying to move around with hairball himself now. Sterling has stayed on his colors. I'll be just going to default video colors. Nope, still doesn't connect. Sterling's just flying around. Hasn't been touched yet, still on greens. Sterling gets in. Oh, no convert. Wasn't confident in that uh, connection there. He's trying to sweep his way in. And now he gets the air to air. I'll be trying to push block his way out of this, but he's unable to get a good clean hit. And now he finally gets one. He better make this conversion count. He's gonna go for the full combo. What's the Yoki? Jumping heavy punch. Whiff into grab. I like that. Into the jewel reset. Yo, and he punishes the sweep with his own hairball. Nice, nice, nice. I'll be staying alive. Empty it. Oh no, stunning water piloted. And he whipped the super. But, you know, Sterling still manages to take this game. It's 3 0. And a very quick ready up. But the thing here is like, with each of these matches, like, I'll be go watch the first match, second match, I'll be got in like a combo and a half, third match, I'll be took a character like, I'll be adapting, he's making progress. No convert there on that little hit tap. Just roll medium kick. Sterling drops a combo. Gets hit forward. Albi unable to convert fully, but now he gets another full clean hit. A second chance for Albi. Full combo. No super. Albi opting to keep the meter this time. Which kind of pays out. Now he's got, you know, even, even meter against the weaker Fukuwa due to the ratio system. Since Albi is playing the solo. And Albi has to hold this heavy kick pressure. And then he just threw a barrier out. Oh, this tag, overhead! Starting unsure of the conversion there. I don't think he expected Albi to get hit the way that he did. Didn't drill. Yo, that fireball hit him for like one tick of block in the air. That's weird. Oh, nice push block from LB. He's gonna take this game. We have ourselves a match, boys. And girls. And non-binary entities. LB's on the board. Uh, whoops. LB on the board. Download complete. Pokes from LB, but Sterling taking the initiative there. Not getting a good conversion though. And uh, bad follow up mix getting hit. But also, then LB not getting a very good conversion there either. Oh, mixed! Ooh, small execution area super stunning. Okay, a good dash there. Dash back, safe. Punish. 
Uh, small goal problems. Reversal DP from LV. So I think he needs to be careful here. Roll tag. Over it from full screen. But Lydia dies as the assist. And this is huge. Because now Sterling has to play this with his Fukua alone. Fukua, a character that actually gives LB problems. But, you know, LB would say he doesn't care, but he's got tag here. And this could be death. <gasps> Mash that super crap! DP, no super in the air. Uh, Sterling did wake up throw. But, LB just pressed. And now Elby's got two. Elby's waking up. Elby's getting warm. There's some very crucial uh, missed conversions there by Sterling in that match that cost him both his Fulia and his Fukuo when he had when he literally had the match in his hands. All he had to do was. All he had to do was super in the air, and he had it. But he dropped it, and then LB super came out and hit him for it. Gentlemen and ladies, I, I'll be going back to the pit. I'll be just kind of content to play this neutral. Then here we have a pause. No, we good. We good. Backing off, defending his face. Just trying to see what Sterling does and how Sterling approaches. But now Sterling is in. Nice DP. <laughs> nice autocorrect DP from LB there. Oh, I'm safe. I'll be opting to not do the full combo and do the like the uncombo into the mix-up for the overhead. Standing ready for it. Fish blocks. Hair balls up. Oh, whoop air throw. I'll be almost got grabbed there. Nice DP. I'll be looking off to the skies. But gets tagged by two supers there. Heavy kick pressure, more heavy kicks. Overhead! Albus will be like, yo, what the fuck was that mix up? So he does, so what Sterling does is he does, um. Here we go. <laughs> Again! A crouching medium kick with uh, Philia while Fukuwa does the overhead clone assist. Um. It's not unblockable, it's just very hard to block. Sterling takes a game, Albi's probably thinking, what the fuck? This game is cheap. But yeah, there is, this game does have unblockable protection in those kind of situations, but it just requires that you block the first hit of whatever the unblockable is. Even so, um, that unblockable can be quite quite hard to see and quite hard to you know understand what's going on there if you're getting hit by crouching medium kick first or if you're getting hit by the overhead clone first it's quite tricky and you have to be aware of that and push blocking doesn't stop the overhead clone from still running at you starting get the first connect it's second connect for no pickup there. Draw wars. Unsafe. Very late to cancel there. I'll be saving the meter going for the mix this time. Yo, he's gonna get first up. Almost, almost, almost. I think I'll be had a good idea there. And yeah, he did. Swilling Spilio is dead. Yo, just run up chair. Turning approaching with the uh, heavy kick into the fireball. Go. So, Paying off. Super. Ground pickup. Oh, just the super again with the one hit. Not gonna hit this time. Overhead. Oh. If Sterling had paid attention to his starter, he would have been able to get the meter for the second super for the kill, but he just took the fireball and chip. And plays Albi out in the neutral with the low sliding clone. 
Sterling now adapting to LB. We've got a little bit of back and forth here. This is what I wanted to see. 5-2 to Sterling. But LB not slowing down at all. I'll be back on Steven Universe for you. Sterling just kind of waiting for him at round start and getting hit for it. I'll be please, what is this? <laughs> Shampoo conditioning. Crouching, I'm um, sorry, uh, instant air dash. Heavy punch from Filia a few times just to make you think that he's not going to do anything else and then he goes with the uh, crouching fly kick to open you up. Hashtag how to open people up. But uh, Fukuwa comes in. Still trying to hold his space here with this fireball wall, but eventually opting to go in, getting poked a little bit for it, and there it is. I'll be don't drop. I'll be takes the game. Three five. Player two wins. I think both these guys are getting quite comfortable playing each other now. Um, like, I'll be actually landing them conversions, you know? Getting that, getting the combos he wants, getting the setups that he wants, and really kind of forcing Sterling to, you know, deal with something that's real and wake up and not like, you know, we haven't played this game in like a year and a half with Toki. Yeah, good stuff from both these guys so far. I don't have time for this. Gentlemen and ladies, it's I'll be in the blue. Hairball into dash cancer, just for that little like head tap overhead. Unable to convert with that. Ooh, trade goes to his favor. Nix, but unable to convert off it. Lay cancel catches I'll be there. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, that was just presses. It's a very dangerous burst to do because like, you know, Philia is just chilling right there underneath you as you burst. You are technically safe on that burst, but it's a seriously uncomfortable position to be in. And now we just press this. He's working on this Philia of Sterling's. Yo, gets the conversion. What side was that on? Oh, combo LB. Nope, drops it. Oh, jumps over the overhead. Sweep. No grab. Folks, I'll be backing away. Taking the space. Fighting his time. Just chilling. Oh, but he gets tagged. Full combo from Sterling. It's not going to be enough to kill. Reversal level 3 from Albi. But LB takes to the sky and Sterling is waiting for him with that super fireball there. So that is six for Sterling. Like these matches are quite close in the neutral, like the, the scrambles could go either way between these two players. But where it's really starting to um, pay out though is the, the use of meter. Like Sterling is willing to spend meter for 
um, for kills and for sealing out rounds and for sealing out games like you just did there. Like, oh, you're jumping at me? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna super right here, deal with it, right? Sterling is willing to do that. Um, and I'll be the same, but it's just like, you know, who's actually pulling ahead there? It's obviously Sterling if you look at the scores, but it's, it's still kind of close. It's not free. Folks. Damn, you know this first game? Sterling, oh my god, Sterling's fully died to pokes. And now he has to do... He has to work this whole solo filia using just his quirk. And he can do it. As so long as he doesn't get hit. We're all super on reversal in the air. Yep, four pokes. No sure conversions. So now Albi gets a good hit, he's gonna super immediately take the round. Don't waste. We'll be right back after these messages. Four six or six four, however you wanna look at it. Albi's not letting Sterling pull away too far. Nice is turning, letting the assist take the cover so that he can, you know, keep the pressure up. But doesn't get anything substantial of that. And now we just press up, gets a full conversion. Goes for the reset. Not paying attention to the green. Sterling manages to burst out. Kinda, he's still in a very uncomfortable position here. Nice. Pressing crouch and medium kick to stop the throw attempt, but not able to, you know. Carry that conversion out. But Albi gets hit by Kukua jumping heavy kick. Drop combo though. Yo, hold this chop. Defend the sky. <gasps> he had it. He had it. He had it. And now he actually has it. But dropping that combo on, on uh, Felia. And again, Albi is like not playing around, yo. He's gonna spend that meter to take those games. Like another another reason why <laughs> another reason why like these two characters give me problems is because they're quite small. I think uh, uh, Philia and Fukua are, you know, they're pretty tiny, and they're very light hitboxes, so they fall out of a lot of characters' combos. And you kind of need specific combos routes to. Ensure that, that that does not happen to you when you are laying the hurt on them. Because, you know, they can just fall out and press and then you die. And that's happened to Sterling now twice in the set. If those combos didn't drop for him, that game could have gone very differently. We are now 5-6. Sterling is clawing his way back to even. Gentlemen and oh, sorry, Albi is clawing his way back to even. I'll be in the red. Deep into draw, nothing of it. Just trying to play out the neutral. Good, no convert there for Albi. Had the hit. And now Sterling gets it. Already uses OTG, so doesn't get a full combo there. And again, that max range on these small girls. No one able to get any good, solid hits for a lot of these exchanges. Yo, Albi just goes in and presses. Doesn't get much of a throw. Again, use the OTG there already. No cool combo. Oh, gets clipped low by the crouching medium kick. And Sterling's fully is dead. Super on incoming, catches Albi by surprise. Hold this fireball. Sterling gets the meter there. Oh, uh, jumping hard kick confirmed. I heard the sound, but no confirm, no confirm of that combo. You needed that. Yo, 
But he gets this. Don't drop, don't drop. And Sterling gets the seventh first. We'll be right back after these messages. I wonder what that Discord chat is like right now. <laughs> Everyone's good to go. But alright, here we go into the next game. Uh, which one? Monster screen, here we go. Not an optimal conversion, but definitely a better conversion for starting. Spend a meter for it though. I'll be pleased. Nah, Sterling sees right through this time. Oh no, he got Huggies! He's gonna die for it! Nope, nope! Okay, got Mix. Opened up. Nope. Already used the OTG. Doesn't get hurt for it though. He needs to be careful, he can die from pokes. And he dies from pokes. And now it's up to this Philia. Uh, sorry, Fukua. Maybe kick connect. Yo! But no follow-up of that reset. He had he had the reset. He just had to run forward. Hobby, please! Player two wins! 6-7. Hobby is starting to feel himself a little bit. I know, I know that LB is feeling himself when he does uh, like uncomboed raw level 3 like that. <clears throat> I think he, he sees the conversion that he has and then while he's doing that combo he sees the meter that he has and it's like oh I should do this regardless of where he is at the combo currently and, and then it comes out like that raw uncomboed. Sterling not getting hit by it though which is, which is crucial. I'll be in the black. Turning it in. Unable to pick up off that OTG in time. And pays for it. But I'll be also unable to make use of the OTG. Instant air dash pressure. Gets a connect. And Sterling's fully is dead. I'll be coming back. Oh, overhead. Just like that. I'll be in the press. Girl super, unsafe, no punish. The air Gregor super is very hard to punish, you kinda need to punish that in the air before either character is landing. If you block a jumping, it's kinda very awkward to deal with. Could burst it before he ate a second super. Yo, but the dash cancel of the hairball into the overhead. Small taps, small pops. So he's trying to hold his ground with his fireballs. Oh no, watch your toes. Let's get a round of applause for our contestants. It's now 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. So that means that there are like what five games total left in this uh, first edition of Skull Hearts. After which one of these two guys will be crowned as the Skull Dude. <laughs> Sterling trying to force his way in this time with uh, Instant Air Dash Heavy, and I'll be just like, Nah, I I do that stuff. I know how it works. But the Fukuo assist is making it very uncomfortable for Albi in the neutral. That said, 
You know, if Albi keeps landing these little pokes, they're gonna hurt a lot harder than what Sterling is getting off his assist because of the rage curve and health differences and so forth. And there, LB gets a connect, but no confirm off the super, but that player is already dead. Damn! Solo ratio! Sterling presses up! Oh, it drops a combo! I think it might have been intentional to hold the standing heavy kick on block and then reset with the command grab, but I'll be pressed before that thing could even come up. Like into the armored state. And here again, I'll be just presses. It's a full combo convert, he's gonna spend the meter. Oh, he dropped! I'll be please! No reset, spend the meter, take your damage. No punish, unable to punish, nice DP from Albi. Sterling content to try and play this guy. This neutral, this mid screen, to full screen neutral, but he doesn't watch his toes, gets tagged, tries to jump out on panic, and Albi is right there with standing heavy punch to catch him out of the sky. It's now 8 7 in Albi's favor. Albi has officially pulled this back. And pull the head. So it's now on Sterling to adapt when, you know, for the majority of the set he had the he had the advantage. I mean it wasn't free, but he did have advantage. Quiet on the set. LB in the uh, black. Neutral start with the assist fireball. And then Homie just turning at full screen. Sterling gets the connect. Sterling gets a reset. Spending the meter. Go, fireball is this? Oops, oops. Very, very important push plug there from Sterling. Have to save this book away. He takes the super into the corner. What's the Yoki? Yo! Catch the tech out of the corner. But drops a combo. I'll be presses, manages to poke his way out. Go, no, trading pokes. Sterling first on that air dash. Don't drop, don't drop! <laughs> what the hell happened there? Okay, nothing left to see here. We are 8-8. That was a much better game played by Sterling. Played it a lot cleaner. Spent the meter when he got his confirms, took his Oki situations, and forced Albi to do kind of, you know, like more reckless things on the defense, the DPs, the reversals. Getting tired by a few of them, but you know, like not too much to actually like turn the flow of the match. Yo, new stage hype. Try to keep it cute, huh? Bye. I'll be in the default uh, for your colors. Nice air to wear there. Full convert. Oops, drops it. But just goes in again immediately. And this is dangerous, like getting tagged twice by this on a solo character. And again! That Fulia is dead. Mixed. Tag, no convert. I'll be just chilling. Trying to get his way into a better position there. And Sterling is kind of backed off. He wants to, you know, go back into this mid to full screen zoning range with with Fukuo. <gasps> Albi doesn't give a fuck about Jovi. Nice box. But he gets tagged. Oh my god! Raw level three. Albi, please. This is very dangerous for Sterling, like one touch can cost him this match because of that rural level 3. 
But still he finds a touch. Finds a reset. Convert, please. Oh no, wasn't watching the IPS. Trying to chop up with the super, but it is a solo. They have a lot more health than uh, duo or trio characters. I'll be with the real super. No punish. And defend the skies. You must defeat Shenlong before you can stand a chance. LB is at match point. I officially don't know who to root for at this point. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! So here we go, I'll be at match point. Sterling didn't make the first move and the first mistake, but Sterling himself making a mistake and dropping that combo and getting put into the corner against Aldi's Filio. This is a very dangerous position because even if these combos drop, they still drop in such a way that they give Aldi... <laughs> they give Aldi some kind of advantage. And here, it's like, Sterling just getting mixed. He has to get out of that somehow. But now Sterling with a chance to do the same thing to LB, and he does. The real tag catches LB there. Spin the super. Spin another super. And now Sterling swapping out to Fukuo. Unfortunately, since he did a DHC with um, Affiliate there. Oh no! This is sad! Come on, Sterling, don't drop this! <laughs> don't drop! You need like two touches, Sterling? That would have been so tragic if Albi won because of that fucking reversal level 3. <laughs> Both boys are on match point. This is the deciding game. The winner of the next match will be crowned the Skull Dude or whatever, or girl or non-binary entity, whatever they wish. But LB has now seen that like those raw reversal level threes are kind of helping him in these matches where like. He's fighting against two characters, that's kind of rough, and you need that big little chunk of uh, uh, comeback mechanic to help. It's kind of helping LB there, and it caught Sterling out in that first, you know, in, in the, in that, you know, in the match, like two matches ago. But Sterling not getting caught by it this time. I mean, he did catch him, but he didn't die from it, is what I mean. Yo, what's up Sonic Fox in the back? Alright, Sterling has gone back to the Hatsune Miku colors. I'll be on default. Familiar. And it's kind of hard to tell who's in the lead right now. I'll be in the lead. Well, it says so on the screen. I'll be in the lead. But, you know, it's just been pokes so far. No strong convergence. And, and these pokes are hurting Sterling a lot more than they are hurting Ali. Um, I'll be. Weird Dante doesn't give Sterling the conversion he wants. And now, Sterling getting tagged in the scramble and Familiar is dead. Hikar in the air, air dash into jab, nothing of it. Sterling now forced to play the zoning game, and Albi is loaded up with meter, he needs to be... Keep an eye on that. I mean, even I'm keeping an eye on it. Damn. Put the ball down, trying to catch Albi, nothing of it, but Albi just coming in with a king confirm. Not dropping this card, oh, he drops it. Sterling gets up. Make a count. No pick up. Low level 3! I knew it! Sterling is one puck away from losing. Real super. It's a tag. Make a count. Albi is going to DP super on wake up. Or super on wake up or something. I knew it. Fuck. So Albi is the first 
keeper of the skull heart he has defeated sterling in a excruciating set final score 10-9 to albi and yeah that was that so i'm gonna put this on screen for like a hot second And that's the text that shall remain at the bottom of the screen. Until next time. I'm just checking if uh, anybody wants an interview or a pop off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, you got in here quick, dude. So, um, Sterling did well, and uh, yeah. He took me to the max. He did take you to the max, dude. You were you were looking uh, kind of shaky those first like three, four games. Yeah. And then it was like, fuck, LB has to wake up now, otherwise it's gonna be another 10-0. And you pulled it back. Yeah, I was just like, you know, I must stick to my fundamentals and just have a good time. And then um, he was mixing me up too much, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna distance myself, and then. You know, whenever I get the opportunity to make the most of it, hmm. I try to do like this mix up cut, but I can't do that stuff. It's so difficult. <laughs> That's all good. I just learned uh, like the other day about um, fastful HP, and uh, I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, off the like off the dash cancel hairballs and um, yes, mm, I, I, I can't yeah. do that stuff. So the next time I'm gonna play this game is when Annie is out, and you know, and it's great. You know, yeah, hopefully, uh, have two people. Hopefully, it, the next time it is time to decide the keeper of the skull heart, Annie will be available for people to play. Yes, and yeah, yo, Sterling in the house. Hey, Sterling, how's it? What's up, guys? What's up? Nice games, man. Nice games. It was liquor, yeah. I enjoyed that, but it was a little fast paced, couldn't handle the pressure sometimes. It was. LB, LB does play very fast, eh? That dash cancels was... Well, had me hot <laughs> under the collar. I must yeah, say. whenever you got that Fukuwa out, then I was like stressing. Because I remember there was one, I think it was on the 8th game or something. Where you did like this triangle jump where you hit me on this side with a jump HP, um, HK and the other side with a jump HK. I was like, yo, oh, this man is... I have never ever seen that shit, so I was like, whoa, let me just yeah. dial it back, stand back, and then, uh, you know. Because hmm. I was first, always trying to kill your first, your first. I was trying yeah, to Yeah, I saw like you were, you were always gunning for her. Yes, and, uh, so the you applied the pressure the most there. Yeah. And it was full core, you kept your distance. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And yes. Certain normals. Quiet, man. Nice. It was like, uh, it was fun. And, uh, yeah, I must say, yeah. Guys, please play some more because you're both you're both pretty good, and it's nice to have good people playing this game. You know, Thanks, man. it keeps it keeps the rest of us good, brings the level up of yeah, everybody. His name is I want to improve. So yeah, that's that the was, was a learning experience. That's that's now the default lobby name for this thing from now on forward. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm yet to get the um, yeah. I'm yet to get the DLC and check out Annie, see what she's about. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So um yeah DLC came out like last night. 
Are you, uh, both of you guys internet DLC? LB, you had some yeah, uh, lab time? Yeah, I'm back in here. I'm gonna still see what she's all about, but she looks kind of fun. Hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I want to test? If we can play like a, just a free match before lobby on the beta. Mm -hmm. You guys want to give that a shot, like someone now? Oh. Nah. I'm, oh, <laughs> he's done. No, he's done. Dead. Dead. Yeah. How do I activate the the beta? Um, question: Do you have you purchased any or the uh, DLC yet? Not, not yet. Okay, so if you do purchase it, you'll get a patch for it, mm -hmm. and it will give you early access to the beta. Like it will show you in the when you launch the game, there's two options, you know, the base game like we are tuning on now, and then the uh, early access beta. But if there, you know, if there are guys that have that beta available, and Sterling, if you manage to get it at some point, I would love to run some sets and some caches with the guys on the new patch. We can experiment with, you know, what the fuck is going on in Skullgirls so, 2021 plus. So do I have to hold on? Do I have to purchase the season pass to? Um, either, either, the latest book. either the uh, no. season pass or the um, the any official, you know, single character. I'll I'll send you a link to it. I'll send you the Steam link to it on Steam so that you can know exactly what you need to purchase. Alright. But yeah, man. Okay. I must say thanks for playing today, guys. That was some hype stuff. Both you guys played yeah, well. Yeah. I'll be. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you are officially the keeper of the skull heart until next time. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna play anymore. So until like, any lab like uh, all that done. stuff has been you know sorted out, then I'm gonna jump. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Like next time this event comes around, we'll see like where the patch is and who's out and who's available and so forth. But uh, all right. I know that. yeah, I'll but yeah, before you guys leave and before I close off the stream and this event officially, just so that people can know like what the what the queue is looking up. I'll be you the keeper of the skull heart, right? So Sterling, you drop into the first challenger position, so you'll be challenging again to, you know, go for the title next time you decide to play. And Alvi, you'll be up against Rob Dog, who washed Murs. Oh, okay. yeah. So that will be your next match for Keeper of the Skullheart next time this comes around. And with that, uh, yeah, GG's everybody. Yeah, GG's, GG's. Until, until next time. Will you be in this too? Will you be playing too? Unfortunately, uh, you know, bias and stuff, I won't compete officially. But if I do need to play on stream, I'll play on stream. I'll always be available to play. And slowly, you know, you know how it is. You see me on game, you just hit me up like, yo, come play, and then I'll come play. Okay. And I'll be, yeah, same applies right. to you, same applies to everybody in this. And yeah. Yeah, GG's. Thanks for playing, guys. Nice, GG's. Cheers, man. Cheers, cheers. And with that, and with that, we have the keeper of the skull heart decided. Uh, I am not going to completely close up the stream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my lobbies and headers.